Hello, I want to play a game. As brothers, you do have trusted each other and share thoughts and experiences, but perhaps too many of them. Like the way you two managed to destroy the lives of innocent women. But I don't need to tell you that. You already know what you've done, Jason. You use women just for fun and then leave them with responsibilities that shall be yours too. How many children do you have, Jason? I don't think you know what it's like to love your own blood. You pretend not to see the damage you have done, just like your brother keeps a blind eye of all your sins. Or am I wrong, Danny? You always helped your brother achieve exactly what he wanted and just walked away without looking back and kept quiet. Well, now you find yourself in the same situation, unable to talk and unable to move. But tonight, I will give both of you a chance. Jason, in order to free yourself, you must push away the spikes next to you to prevent the blade fan on top from reaching your head and destroying all your memories. But the only way to reach the spikes is to raise the fans blocking your way. The way to do this is by pushing the lower spikes with your bare feet. You must hold all four long enough in order to survive. Something I should mention is the destination of the blood you will shed. It will flow through the tube inserted in your brother's mouth. The only source of air he has is through the tube. So in order to survive Danny, you must drink your brother's blood. But if you prefer not to go through this, I invite you to press the button next to your right hand. This way ending the game and your brother's life. So I ask you, how much blood are you willing to drink in order to survive? The choice is yours.